The people of Easter Island only had stone tools. A single statue could take two years to carve. Professor Patricia Vargas Casanova has been researching how it was done at the island's main quarry, Ranu Raraku. We're in a quarry that clearly shows the way in which a statue was carved. We noticed that one side, the, the right side of the statue, is completely finished. At the end of the head, they carve a channel in order to get to the other side. And notice that these are not straight walls. They just opened what was necessary for the people to move the, the stone picks. Once the top and sides were complete, the carvers would gradually undercut the statue, leaving just a narrow spine attached to the mother rock. Then this was carefully chipped away until it was free and resting on stone supports. At that moment, they will start moving the statue down the slope in order to finish the back. This is where a thousand of these figures were carved over maybe five centuries. For reasons still unclear, these were never delivered. But how were any of these monsters moved? What is really incredible is to think that statues were moved kilometers out of the quarry. 60 years ago, Norwegian explorer Tor Heyerdahl conducted a series of experiments at the quarry, trying to discover how the moai were made and then moved. He recruited 180 islanders to shift a statue weighing 10 tons. This is how it may have looked 500 years ago. The statue dragged along by brute force with ropes made of tree bark. But the terrain is so rough, many statues never made it to their destination. This statue was on its way out of the quarry, and you see how badly broken it is. Probably a couple of years of work, completely ruined and gone. The discarded statues are providing valuable information for Professor Claudio Cristino. He's mapping every archaeological site on the island. Here we have Rano Raraku, the, the crater where all these statues were caught, that we carefully mapped. So the, here we recorded 397 statues which are still there. There were a thousand statues, roughly, of which about one third made it finally to the altars along the coast uh, on the whole island. A high number of statues were abandoned for unknown reasons. So we can pinpoint all these statues that actually are markers of the you know, uh, ancient roads where they were transported. These roadways led to ceremonial platforms where the statues were erected. The Norwegian archeologists recreated the most likely technique by building a stone ramp, then using levers. Given the weights involved, sometimes as much as 50 tons, any method would have been fraught with danger. But once the statue was erected, islanders believed a miracle took place. The statue would come to life when the final piece was added. <laughs> 